tonight from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles taking on Cam Newton and the New England Patriots. This time of year in Philly, you know what to expect. Cold temps and we've got them, but the skies are clear tonight at Lincoln Financial Field. The scene in South Philly a few moments ago. Boy, the city of brotherly love is fired up. They're saying fly, Eagles, fly, as they get ready to match up with the New England Patriots. Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. Able to fight through one tackle. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now we get a look at Jalen Hurts, the surprise second-round pick back in April as he gets set to operate this Philadelphia Eagles offense. I know Eagles fans weren't exactly thrilled with the selection of Jalen Hurts in the second round, but they needed a big-time backup if they want to go deep in the playoffs. And he was 38-4 and four as a starter in college at both Alabama and Oklahoma and was the runner-up for the Heisman Trophy last year. 43 career rushing touchdowns. He can throw it, and he can move. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. On second down now, it's Sanders. He's still fighting forward. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as he's got this past the 35 to about the 37. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in this situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Sanders here as they run out of the gun. Refusing to go down. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback. And no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards is the pick out. Good for an eagle first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Number three. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? And he was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. Right back to Sanders on first down. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. It's not easy playing the corner, is it? A lot of times you got to defend against the pass, but sometimes you have to play against the run. How about a job he did there, crashing inside to make that tackle for a loss? And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. Call it a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Inside the red zone, and that means don't come away from there with anything less than three points, but everyone's thinking about six. They're trying to get to the end zone. They decide to run a toss. Big people up front being mobile and moved. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. 
Well, they were backed up on third and goal, and when you saw him start to scramble, my thought process was he'll get what he can and maybe get out of bounds. But he got a little bit greedy there, and in this case, greed was good as he got into the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. So here comes the Patriots offense led by number one, their new quarterback for 2020. That, of course, Cam Newton. And his task in this situation is making sure this team knows that there's a sense of urgency, yet somehow still stays calm. Because your natural impulse, your first possession is not until the second quarter, is you got to attack right away. Throw something big at them right away. Yeah, you've got to move the ball, but maybe be a little bit careful in doing so. Well, he's going to take a shot right away, and that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Nikhil Harry was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Newton. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing on third down, Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. Defensively lucky they were able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. Now the second-year punter, Jake Bailey, on for New England as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here comes Rager. Well, that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books, but it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and it's a second down. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. First down, at the 42-yard line. On the draw, here's Sanders. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and a yard. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report for business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches' two-minute drill. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. 
He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Well, that was something to behold there. You might expect runs like that from a kick returner or wide receiver, but that's your quarterback hitting top speed. And normally when you see guys moving this fast, it might be a fly pattern from a receiver or a toss sweep from a tailback or something like that. This was designed as a passing play, and then he got out of the pocket, and he just took off, and he just kept gaining momentum with every step. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Eagles add on to their lead. We've seen this already from him in this game. Second time, he's into the end zone with a rushing touchdown. So the head coach is going to have to have a meeting with the owner this week. You know why? He's got to let the owner know, I know you wrote the check for his arm, but we're going to make him a part of our running game, too. This guy can do it all. Let's see where he takes us. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This will be caught at about the six. And he is not going to get in there. He stops short of the goal line, and the lead is going to stay right where it is. Okay, they went for the fake off of the, the extra point attempt. It's a long way to go, and they didn't get there. Didn't get it completed successfully. Did someone dare them to do that? Did, did, did someone double dog dare them uh, to do that? I was going to ask you, maybe they, they saw something on film, but do you see something on film <laughs> to try something from the 15 on a PAT? The, I don't know. The only thing they needed to see on film there was a snap, a hold, and someone kicking the ball through the post. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does, that can alter my strategy and potentially get me some points. And if it doesn't work, well, then you just run the clock out and go to the locker room. On first down, Newton. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. So a line of scrimmage still with 39 on second and 10. To throw again, Newton. Catch is made by Harry. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. This from 54 yards away. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw Miles Sanders strut his stuff in that first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Jake Elliott to kick off 
for Philadelphia. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset? Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. And it appears that this was just a letdown from the offensive line, but they do have a tough job because if you're a big tackle out there on the perimeter, Sometimes you don't have the agility to keep up with the defensive end who's looking to wreak havoc in the backfield. And he got there and put his man on the ground. As we check the next-gen stats, you'll see he had precious little time to do anything with the football there. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. They'll run it here. This is James White. Big hold to the 30. And he'll get this all the way up to the 42-yard line. What are you doing? Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He could see the play developing right in front of him, and once he's past the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. back to white here on first down and very little daylight there he'll get a couple up to the 44. Well, this time time to get him established but in my estimation they've got to pick up the urgency here they've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays now a deep ball there on second down but it'll wind up incomplete what we've seen so far in this game they are not going to allow a big shot over the top. You can have whatever you want underneath. They'll give you that, but they're not going to let you beat them deep. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, struggles continue. Open targets, and he keeps missing them. Pressing way too much. He may have a big arm, but until he learns how to harness it and have some touch, he's going to continue to struggle. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. And he's been busy with his feet. He's been quite the scrambling man. And obviously that can break down a defense. But a lot of it is just that they just get trapped with worrying about it so much that other things break down as well. You know, you break the huddle, and you're not just playing what comes out at you. You're like, oh, God, don't let him outside of the pocket. Don't let him beat us with his legs. And then he starts to beat you other ways. And they'll begin by running the option. That's going to go down as a loss of nine on the first down play. Back quite a ways here, facing second and 19. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And he'll be taken down, losing yardage back at the nine-yard line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. They'll roll him out right. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Sanders. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. 
No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Third and seven. One corner remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. Hurts sets up to throw it. And he's got Rodgers. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That third down conversion, good for 23. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, go, who can on. dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Throwing his hurts. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Devin McCourty picks it off. Take over first down We're holding on to the lead at this stage in the second half. Those are the types of plays you really want to try and stay away from. And when you're a rookie, keeping your focus is something that you still have to work on all the time because there's so many distractions around you between the crowd noise and your coaches and your teammates. But the other part, you've got to learn how to finish. It's the two Fs for a rookie quarterback. Following the interception, here's Newton. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. But I think the Patriots are going to hang on to the football. They do. They get it back. Fortunate to get that football back. Because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity. Because it could have been lost there. Their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. Patriots with a football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he'll drop it underneath to White. Give him six on the play. And it'll be a third and about 13. And the Patriots moving quickly, hustling up to the line. The pass complete. It's Bird. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Dancing to his left. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. And we've reached the one-minute mark in this game. Goes underneath here to White. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. He'll fight his tight end here, Asiasi. 
And he is taken down deep in Philadelphia territory. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 18. From the gun, here's Newton. He completes it right side to White. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle last chance. Extra point up and good by Folk. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So looking at this situation, you should have time for the onside kick and then at least one play. And the Eagles are going to recover. And that might be enough to put a bow on this one. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number as empirical. So fly, Eagles, fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say 24-hour cheesesteak shop. Here we come. Oh, yeah, and I'm buying, partner. <laughs> and guess what? I'm having mine with. And I'm having two if you're buying. Good night from Philadelphia.